to welcome everybody to Oconomowoc. Good morning. Would you like a program? You have such an incredible community event here with the 2022 Festival of the Arts. It's a big influence. It's pretty much the flagship event of the community. We have uh, 110 artists, typically. We have many more that apply. We have a wide range of medium, fiber, pottery, oils, pastels, watercolors. And we are totally a volunteer organization. Typically about 500 people in the community involved in helping put the festival on. Can you imagine 500 volunteers in a small community like we have here? That's really what makes us special. That's what makes Oconomowoc special. If you ask a lot of the artists, they'll say, um, they wait all year for their peach cobbler or their rhubarb cobbler. It's unique. You don't find cobbler everywhere, and it's homemade. The day before the festival starts, we have a cobbler bake-off, and we probably bake probably 140 pans of cobblers. We have a bunch of different projects for kids to do. Um, we really want them to kind of explore their art side. Yeah, we try and kind of do a bunch of different things to include everybody. We have some beading things, we have just some coloring if kids want to just sit down and create something. We have stickers and stuff like that. The mural has been around, I believe, since the beginning or almost the beginning of the art festival. We actually have volunteers from the high school that are doing all of the face painting and stuff. And they're amazing artists. I love seeing the kids create. It is amazing to see what kids can actually do. And they're just so much fun. Like, I love this area just because it's kids, and kids are cool, and they're fun. My husband and I travel in our Airstream trailer, and so we go around the country. We started doing shows. The reason I love this show particularly is because it's a very community-based show. It's in a beautiful venue, and all different kinds of people come, and there's all different types of art. Pretty excited this year to, to be here. It's a beautiful location. I've done this show back in 2018, um, and was very excited to be chosen to uh, be involved again this year. We did this show last year for the first time. We heard a lot about it. It was amazing last year. A lot of people came out. Our artwork's a little different um, than you might typically see on the circuit, and but people were so responsive to it, so we came back again this year, and it's been even better. This is our 51st year. There was an artist by the name of Virginia Harris who was exhibiting her artwork in one of the little parks in town. She was a member of the Women's Club, and the Women's Club got excited about the fact that, well, let's just do an art festival. So that's how it started. Honestly, it gives me goosebumps a little bit, man. Uh, it, it, it's just fortunate because it's something that you don't think about as much when you're a kid and you're growing up. Um, and then, uh, you know, when you look back and uh, just honored, you know, um, to be able to pass on uh, just the, the tradition and, and be a part of it is, is, is very special. I, I run into people that are still involved uh, with the fair today that remember her and so we reminisce and stuff and it's, so it's, it's very special. Our inaugural winner of our $20,000 cash prize is artist number, number 60, Ben Otten. <laughs> Congratulations, Ben. Come on up. Uh, just feeling pretty blessed, to be honest with you. That was, uh, I, I hadn't really done a, a competition like that before. Uh, to be able to interact with the crowd was uh, pretty fantastic. But then be able to cap off the summer back in uh, the hometown, man, it's, uh, it's a pretty fun feeling. I got a lot of family and friends roaming around, so it's good to catch up with them. And then, yeah, just be able to support your, your local fairs and, and events is, uh, is pretty fun. And I can tell you firsthand that there are just some incredible exhibitors here and some that we're going to be honoring this, um, this afternoon. A lot of incredible craftsmen in wood this year. Thomas Tyler's Tires in booth 47. Thomas, congratulations. So to be chosen here is, is just very, very important to me. Uh, I love Wisconsin. I love this area. Uh, so it, again, very exciting for me. I always loved birds and I just like how a feather looks, the colors, the variations, so many different possibilities. They're so cool. Uh, feathers are very, very neat. They can fly. So I really enjoy that part. 
so many incredible photographers. There's a lot to choose from. This year, it's Chris and KB, Katie Robleski in booth 24. Chris, uh, he went to Myad in Milwaukee um, for school. He taught himself night photography, experimented at night because it was the only time he could take photos for his assignments. So then he started just exploring that type of photography. It is long exposure, so the shutter stays open on the camera anywhere from two to 10 minutes. And during the shutter exposure, we go inside of all of these buildings, cars, any kind of structure, um, and light it up with colored flashlights. And he's more of like the photographer concepting the artwork, and I'm the light painter, and he's the one that sends me inside, and you know, you can be with the critters in there. <laughs> Do your thing. <laughs> no Photoshop, no computer manipulation, and everywhere we go, it's abandoned. So we have a, a lot of fun in the dark playing with lights. <laughs> Our best in show this year in painting, and for the whole show, is Rachel Newman. Congratulations. I was absolutely flabbergasted and, you know, surprised. And so I've never won best of show. I've been a full-time artist since 2008. I started sailing as a late teen, so I've sailed in Lake Superior is where I learned how. I've sailed on tall ships. Eventually, my husband and I spent almost a two-year sabbatical living on our sailboat. And that's really where this body of work came from. And for so many people in this world that's so chaotic, it's like they, they're drawn to my work because it's just a moment to breathe. 